Hi all, welcome back to more Skies Above Britain. This is Chapter 1, Patrol 3. Uh, part 1. <laughs> yeah, I had to do a retake there. Eh? I'm all mixed up with my numbers. Yeah, this is the first part of Patrol 3. That's right, right. I had to rename the video there that I'm just, just copying across as well because I was getting all mixed up there. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, so, I've got these cubes here. We were in the middle of... Uh, doing this so I've not done the sun I've not done anything on that on that token I, I think I just revealed it and thought mm, I've got this measurements again yeah in fact it's already taken out the green section isn't it we had measurements already didn't we and now we've got another one so um, uh, not so good uh, right didn't get very far there now I ended up being on pause for a bit um, so yeah we got another measurements result yeah I was, I don't have enough of time now, I've got to go off to bed again early tonight. I wanted to try and squeeze a quick part in, so I don't really want to talk too much about the, uh, some comments that I've had. Nothing regarding any mistakes, well, not really mistakes. Um, what was the one, Tim has brought up, uh, yeah, we had a, we had a green veteran pi uh, fighter and a green green pilot there yeah, they were green so I had a veteran and a green pilot of the same section that were attacking in the bomber formation area and uh, he's pointed out to me which I didn't know this um, that the no it's not pluck what is it uh, what the heck is it is there a trim no. follow my lead ah damn I've not got the the uh, anything open with the no, it's to, it's to save a green pilot. What one would that be then? Uh, stay trim. Must be stay trim then. That's talking about green pilots. Sorry, I'm down here off, off the table now. Use this only when the veteran is in a section with a green pilot. And I think maybe could it be that the player aid or where I read it from only gives you sort of a brief description of that. Well, no, that's... This is where I would have been reading it from, I think. The, oh, no. No, no, no. I tell a lie. I'm surprised the dog put it right in the face. Yeah, same approach. Yeah. I think I've maybe looked at it here. And it says, stay close. In a section. Stay close. We've got stay trim there. Looking at the right things. Is that a, a misprint or something? I've got stay... I've got stay close here. And it's called Stay Trim, here, in the book. <laughs> so, maybe that is a, a, a little glitch. I think they're the, they're the same one, I think. Uh, there's nothing on this. I can see. No, so I maybe read it in here. In a section, cancel the result applied to a green pilot. This applies to dogfight or advantage cards, bomber formation area, if same approach. See, in a section it's saying there, but he um, has said... Like I say, I haven't read that. That um, it can still work um, if they're in the bomber formation area. Well, it talked about bomber formation area there, didn't it? It just says same approach though. So use this only when the veteran is in a section with a green pilot. It saves that green pilot from one result on an advantage or dogfight card, dogfight card that specifically affects a green pilot. That is, it cancels either of these icons. No bombers, this privilege may only be used in the bomber formation area when the veteran and green pilot are approaching the same bomber from the same attitude. They must belong to the same section. Okay, so I don't think I, re I had read into more detail there. I think I had just read that and not really, not really triggered what bomber formation area if same approach meant there. Because it's, it's just keeping this brief in here, isn't it? So that's a good one to remember because um and he actually points it out when I'm I actually saying I can't take I can't uh, cancel a green hat on this guy. Um uh now did he get a green hat? Maybe. I can't, I didn't watch the watch the bit, but there you go. I could have done it anyway if he did get a hat. Um or maybe I was just talking about it but and saying that he couldn't protect him, but he can because of that. So thanks for that one, Tim. I didn't, I didn't spot that. So that's good. Um, some other, I can't think of them on the top of my head. You know that. 
I can't think of other things. And I, I don't want to really go into things too much just now. Like I say, I don't have an awful lot of time and just wait try and squeeze a part and get a little bit of gameplay. I'll come back to the comments that he's made. I think I've replied to them all uh, now. There was a few more just there just now. Um, uh, Tim had actually suggested that when we're, you know, we were talking about the when you draw the helper eyes and you get draw a Luffaf advantage cards and how do you randomise the th thing. And remember I went and looked up a thread and it was actually Martin that start, started the thread, asked the question um, about how you randomise the aircraft. You know, let's just say you've got six aircraft, you've got three escort stations that are drawing cards. Um, how do you randomise them? Do you, is there a chance that one, one aircraft could be selected more than once? And um, then the, the answer to that thread came back and it was the designer. And although he says that the rules weren't, oh, what was the word that he used? Explicit in that area. So there was wiggle room for it. He did say that an aircraft could get more than one advantage card. Um, so, because um, uh, Tim had came back to me saying that he thought that because it says that you can only draw as many cards as there is aircraft there, that surely that meant that they could only target the one aircraft with one card, but not, not according to what the designers said there. He did come back, Tim did come back and say, well, what is, um, I wonder what the point is of, of saying you're limited to the amount of cards you can only draw as a, as a mount of pilot, uh, aircraft. But my thought of that was, if we came across one card that had three and three, I was like, three in the starboard and three in the port. Imagine if you had like one or two or, or maybe even three aircraft. But let's just say you had two aircraft and it was three there and three there and they were both occupied. That'd be six cards you'd be drawing for two aircraft. That seems a bit like messy and too much and whatever. So I think that's why they probably said, right, you can only draw that many cards. However, out of the two aircraft, it seems that the same aircraft could get both the cards. So... Um, there you go. Um, uh, okay, so but then again, that like I say, that that was from the designer, but he did start he did start his answer by saying that the rules weren't explicit in that area. So this this is the man that's uh, had a lot to do with the rules, I would guess. <laughs> so um, anyway, right? Um, yeah, there was there's two or three other things I, I can't remember what they are, but I'll get my tablet across and uh, next time I've got a bit more time and go through a few things and they might they might pop into my head while I'm while I'm uh, going right okay re let's get the rest of this reveal done so the first bit I can take these cubes away um, the the first one is the moving of the sun isn't it so yeah and I've got that I've got that here so roll a die even shift the sun clockwise odd shift it counterclockwise I've done this already, or maybe even more. Now that dice is cocked in the corner there, so I'm going to re-roll that. To be honest, it's sitting either a 12 or an 8, so I suppose it's even. Oh, well, we got the even result. Right, 10. So, even as shift the sun position clockwise. And so I think I went clock, anti-clockwise before, so it's just come back down to the tail high. But we don't know where... Escort stations are yet anyway. Raid markers not on the map yet as well. Okay, right. This, this was only last night that I done this. Well, well yesterday evening. Um, if there's no sun, blah blah blah. Nah, that's fine. So then we're going down. Uh, then we go back to card one, and uh, it's the measure smiths again, which takes us to card two, and. The red marker squad marker is in the deep zone. It is not. Uh, the red marker is not in the deep zone. Select a section at random. If none, select a fighter at random. Hey, right, how can we do this? Because we've... Oh, cause I suppose I could ignore... No, does that work? <laughs> I'm better just doing... This is one to three. So if I do one to four for these uh, <laughs> 5 to 8 and 9 to 12 is that right? 10, 1, 12. as long as we're getting 4 possibilities each yeah, it's just that we're missing this section so 1 to 4 5 to 9 no, 5 to 8 
10 to 12. All right, I think that's right. <laughs> right, so the section is going to be four. Right, it's going to be the red, going to be the red section then, one to four, right? So, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so red section. Um, so, it's a se section random, yeah. Uh, attack by 109s, if a section spends one fuel, so there's the red section. Oh, that was one thing. Right, let's spend the fuel first before I talk about it. I think this was in part six, was the most recent part that I released. We had the last fuel movement that I made at the end of the first patrol. We only had, a, uh, I want to say it was a green and a yellow aircraft left. Sorry, in the bomber formation area. And we were um, we were just wanting these to return to base. But the fuel step came up first. And uh, I moved all the fuel cubes. But it should surely have only been the green and the yellow fuel cube that moved. Is that right? Um, I think I sort of left that in there as a sort of question. But I mean, surely it is. Because was I not taking the fuel cubes down at one point when there's no... Like, for instance, right now, green are... Oh, no, they're not out of the game. We've got one that's lost contact. We've got two in the fate boxes. Yeah, that was a bad... That was a bad result. Well, we could end up with something somewhere here. Yeah, and this is really before we were able to do anything, isn't it? This is not... I'm not through choice that I'm wanting to fight these measure smiths. Um, anyway, I think the fuel should only move if you've got aircraft still in play. You know, for instance, I moved the blue cube and I think all the blue planes were, you know, either a, a return to base track or fate box. So surely they don't spend enough fuel. It didn't affect any, it didn't draw the fuel into an area that was going to start having dice rolls, but um, I just, I made, I left a comment there anyway, right, so we mo move the fuel for red, yeah, and we're going to draw with five advantage card, and yeah, and I'll just, we'll just do it on the, the squadron display here, uh, with five advantage, here we go, um, yeah, so we're a section, and it's 109, so it's head on, if heavy escort replace the rotter with a swarm, it tails your fighters. Right, we don't know about the escorts yet then. Mind you, I get the feeling the measure smiths doesn't doesn't register the escort thing. Right, hang on, we're getting we're getting a, a rotter head on. And you know, we certainly don't want this to happen. Um but because I don't think I'm, I've missed placing the escorts yet. I don't think that's happened. I get the feeling though, hang on, let, let's see Measure Smiths. Is there a reference to that in the rules? There is, 53. Um, um, mind you, no, it's not this. I think I think we need, I look, need to look at the event text for behind you, I think. Yeah, I, I think I do, which is page nine. Starting to remember some pages now. Well, I've been at this one a few times. What is it called? Behind you. Right, so behind you and blast them and bounced. I want to say this summer rat regarding the three. It's I think it's only two of them and it's not all three of them. Is it blast them's maybe not there or something? Anyway, these events require the presence of heavy escort. Right, measure smiths and channel patrol does not apply. Tells you down the bottom. So I don't need to worry about. If, if we've got heavy escorts or not, it doesn't apply to the measure smiths anyway, so that's good. So we've only got a head on rotter, and uh, it's an advantage card gone, so that's pretty good. Although, no maneuvering uh, as such. So we go into the dogfight, we've placed our fighters, we get head on combat, and nothing we can do but draw a head on card. This is a section against 109s, so a section against 109s, we're in here. And yeah, I forgot, Stu pointed out to me that every one of these has a, a vanish on it anyway. So that's good, it means we're not going to lost con. Uh, we've got a loose result. So that guy is. Uh, does he go lost contact? Well, mm, I don't know. 
Um, so it is 109s, head on, yeah, okay, so the, the rot is going to vanish, so I'll just get that out of the way, I know I'm starting to do things in different orders and that, and I said I wouldn't do that, but I think everybody's probably going to start getting that way once you know that that doesn't matter, blah blah blah. So, loose, the RAF fighter becomes independent and is now lost contact, yeah, damn it. Uh, if the section is tailed, you may have that. We have a fire marker. Tail the RAF fighter. Page 59 if you want the, the full shebang for it, Grant. Uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing. We randomly select one and move it to the section. So here, uh, and I think it was, it was Martin that uh, had sort of replied to my question left in the video about this this hat we've got a hat to go yet as well and he says it doesn't matter because i can do these in any order and i think i replied later in a future video that yeah fair enough but if i lose this guy now right does the hat can the hat only go in the two that's left or does it still does it still randomly select between the three because if I do the loose result first, this is now lost contact, they're still in the section. If I then go to apply the hit, is it only on these two fighters or do I still have to randomise between this guy as well? I think that's what I was really mainly asking. Whether you maybe did answer that, Martin. I know you said it was, um, it was my choice, but let's say I wanted to avoid... I don't know, I don't know, the um, thing is, you've got to randomise who's going to lose. So you're not sure what that's going to be, and if you do that first and it didn't affect, if it didn't affect the guy that was loose, then you don't know which one, you, you know, let's just say Red Leader's your veteran or something, and you don't really want that hit. So if you can loose that guy, then the hit's going to go on these two, but you're not going to know, are you? Yeah. Probably doesn't really... However, I'd still like to know if we do decide to loose that, right? Then we decide to do the hit. Does it involve all three? Does it randomise all three or just these two? I get the feeling it still it still includes us and it randomises all three because I think, although you can do these in any order, I want to say it's all simultaneous and... Well, that's not really true, is it? Because when you get into the cards that are, like, disrupting and whatever... They're putting damage markers on the bombers. So they're changing things. So it's a bit different. So I don't know. Right, I'll try and leave that there again. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just run. I'm going to do the hit first so that there's no issue, right? So we're going to randomize um, a hit on these guys. That's 1 to 4, just as it's go out there. Um, I rolled an 8. So that is a leader. Um, so red leader's getting... Well, that's, that's the one that's getting the hat. Yeah, okay. So let's take the hat. <sighs> yeah. Now we're going to have two... Oh, jings. Right, that's horrible. So it's a nine. That's an engine nine, which is really bad. We've already got a guy up there in the engine fate box. That's you, Stu. Again, up there, cousin mayhem again. Um, right, okay, so now I'll do the loose and it's random as well, so I'll just roll the dice again. Same numbers. That's a 10 this time, so I think it's red 2. 9 to 12 is red 2. So he becomes loose, and, and basically he's now lost contact. So he is going up into this area now as well. Uh, this is a lost contact area that I've decided that's where it's going to be. Um, area fighter becomes independent and is now lost contact. It's randomly select, yeah. The section dissolved. There must be at least two area fighters in the section. So if, if this result happens to the section with only two fighters, they both become independent and a lost contact. Well, that's not the case, however, if this guy goes to the fate box, I assume that we 
that guy's then going to be lost contact. Now, I'm saying I assume that. Uh, I guess that's going to be somewhere, but... Well, let's hope we can get a lucky die roll. Right, that, is that everything? Loose, hit, and then vanish. Yeah, it is. The measure smiths are not nice. Uh, right, so done the head-on combat. There's no more combat to deal with. So then we get to the hit checks. And then we'll resume where we left off. So a hit check, a nine. Well, we could really do with us. Come on. Really do with a nice double-digit die roll. <sighs> it's not to be. Right, so now I'm going to have to... Yeah, really... Right, so Red Leader's gone to the uh, Engine Fate box. And Red Leader was... I. It's the regular pilot again, but I'll just keep him up there with the... With the aircraft, that is uh, the pole. So... Yeah, and... Do I really need to look this up? This is going in. This is going lost contact in it. It can't be here, unless it's at least two of them. I think. Uh, let me, let me just see if I can find something written that way. I'm pretty sure you are all saying yeah. That's that's lost contact. Man. Hang on. Well, I can't. I can't really find anything. Uh, I've looked up lost contact. Looked up section. There's nothing I'm finding that says that this now becomes lost contact. I'm sure it's there. I'm sure this is. Um, so I'm going to put it across there. If somebody knows where, where it says that in the rules or where, where it makes it clear, uh, if you could let me know, that'd be great. Um, but I'm pretty damn sure it doesn't stay in that s squadron display. Well, that was uh, interesting, and I'm glad I went and had a look, because somebody actually asked this question in BGG, and uh, the designer came back, uh, Jerry White came back, and uh, and answered it with a quite a lengthy answer, although his initial response was that you found an edge case within the game that, you know, I'd, I've not got the answer up in front of me. I wish I took note of the thread name. Anyway, he, he, he said but going by the rules and as they would, would probably deal with this, there's not, there's, I don't think there's anything written as such, but he basically says that I think this would be lost contact, but he goes into some ideas about how you could treat it. And the other guy had replied, um, there had a wee to and fro about it like that, but it didn't look like it was anything set in stone about how you do that and the, the guy was coming up with a possibility of house ruling a die roll to allow the aircraft back to form in its in its section or something something like that to be honest I didn't read, read through it all but it was uh, quite interesting to see that this is technically not lost contact uh, sorry, it's, the, it's not it's not really but um what he, I think what he was initially saying, like I say, I probably need to read it all out, was how, this can't go on the, the map anywhere, so how do you deal with that situation? You know, uh, that individual aircraft can't go on the interception map, and that's what the rest of these are wanting to do. You know, we can put these on the map as a section, we've got the little, the little section markers. You know, so what happens here with us? So... But I get the feeling that the norm is to just put that lost contacts. I'm going to do that, right? I'm going to just do that. So two measure smith events, and we 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 really kind of should have got away with that one. But see, there was the loose result. If I'd done it the other way, if we go, no, it didn't matter to did that. See, if we were able to get the hit on the loose pilot, but it's all random, isn't it? So. Yeah, just we could have got luckier, I suppose. What we needed to do was end up with two of the aircraft still there. But one of them got hit, 
and sent to Fate Box, and one of them got marked loose, one of them's left there. So I'm just going to settle in and make, make him lost contact as well, which I think probably the easiest way to deal with that. Rather than, yeah. So we've only got two, two uh, sections left now, and we've not been able to do anything. So that's the measure smith's done. Um, Oh, if I go to dogfight the cycle subject. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, that was the measure smart, so we've done all that. Right, so we've, we've resolved that second... Uh, no, that is that not the third one? No, that's only the second one. There's two more still to come. So that's that one done. And then we... We move on, don't we? Does it not just say keep Ruby on? Buy a top of it and then the bottom. Apply all events on one marker before revealing the next one. Right, well, we've done that, so we're moving on to the next one. And still no raid icon. Now, that's a straggler, and I'm just going to chuck him away. Hey, hang on. No, wait a minute. Is that not, is that not a use for some of these? Ah, but we can't do... No, no, we can't, we can't. This might be a use for going after the straggler then. Because when we make contact, all these lost all these lost contact are going to return to base, aren't they? We we experienced that in the second patrol where the whole section just went back to base. Um now contacts card 10A and 10B. Uh, yeah. Also, all lost contact fighters must immediately return to base. So, uh, I mean, unless we don't make contact at all, but the whole point is to try and get something done, then these are going to get returned to base. However, and now hold on, hold on. Is it possible we can get a chase before, um, before contact? Well, the chase, no, because chase is down here. And the interception sequence, yeah, we need to have the raid before we can chase it. <laughs> uh, so, we are, if we don't contact, we're going to cycle, keep cycling through this until we do contact. And then when we do contact, lost contact stuff returns to base. So, I tell you what, this is a, ch this is a, a case where we might be want to go for the straggler then. So straggler as uh, card three. So let's uh, let's do that and bring up bring it up in the rule book as well because it's quite a bit of text in this. So I know I've read it a few times and just never done it. Um, so place a lone bomber marker in the lost contact area. And uh, what bomber do we use if we don't know what we've got? The bomber type should match those in the form bomber formation area. If their type is not being determined, select randomly. Um, okay, well that is the case. Well, I'll select this randomly first, and um, what is that? There's four different. Ah, oh, they're on the map there. We can do it there. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So that's the four different types. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm doing it yet, but we, it does say we place it on the map to start with anyway. Uh, 10, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's a hind call. Uh, right, what do they look like? <laughs> I've not had them out yet. So they've got... Maybe not going to get a good description from that. I don't think that's that. I'm not sure. Yeah, it could be that one. I think it is that one, actually, isn't it? Sure, some of will know better. The wings look like that's better. I'm just looking at silhouette, obviously. Right, well, we're calling it a hind call, right? Um, so, where does this go? Place a one bomber marker in the lost contact area, right? Okay. I'm just going to leave it down here, but let's just say... It, it's in the same area as these guys, right? 
So now I'm and I'm looking at the rules here. But I'll look at the card. The card says one one section or fighter and lost contact may immediately attack the straggler or one or more sections may be detached from a squadron on the raid track to make the attack. That says raid track again, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is a squadron display. Raid track, the word there is not fitting in with me, but I mean, that's where my sections are, so. Um, what does it say in the rule book regarding that? It says, one section or one, in, uh, one independent area fighter that's lost contact may attack it immediately. If a section spends one fuel. Oh, hold on a minute here. See, these both went, but they both went to the lost contact area separately. Eh? One was loose, and then the other one got hit, got hit and went to fate box, which meant the other one was independent as well. I just wonder if they could still be a squadron, but in the lost contact area. Uh, I don't know. I think that's possibly what the guy was saying. I bet he might outrule the fact that maybe roll a dice to say that they are still a squadron in here. You know, they're still sort of joined up. Um, we'll just leave them as three individual area fighters, right? Um... You may assign one or more sections to attack, they may not... Uh, yeah. there's, nothing, there's nothing mentioned there about the raid track. Maybe detached from a, a squadron on the raid track. One or more sections may be detached from a squadron on the raid track. Yeah, okay. Could it just mean that this is a squadron? Could this be the raid track? I don't know. I don't. I mean, I think I would just be able to take one of these, one of these sections out. Anyway, well, I'm not going to do that, but I can only actually pick one of the um, lost contact fighters. Can't I? Can't pick more than one. It just says one section or one independent area fighter may attack it immediately. Uh, so if you do not assign a section or area fighter to attack, remove it from play. So let's just um, double check then. So bomber rounds, immediately play bomber rounds one after the other until the lone bomber is destroyed. How do, where do we attack it from? Uh, round one approach. In the initial bomber round, area fighters may approach from any angle. Ignore penalties for nose, o and tail approaches. Okay, that's good. But then after each bomber round, what we're gonna get is we're gonna draw an escort reaction card for the lone bomber. We're going to ignore everything on it except the clouds escape number and the ambush icon. So we could get lucky. The ambush icons are not there all the time. You know? And there's no clouds, so it's not going to disappear. There's no clouds. Um, okay. I think I'm going to do this then. Straggler, no. Why not leave the fighters in the lost contact area instead of forcing them to return to base? What does it say, return to base? Uh, yeah, I maybe didn't read it all. Bomber rounds. Immediately play bomber rounds one after the other until the lone bomber is destroyed or the attacking fighters are out of ammo or in fate boxes. Surviving RAF fighters return to base. They may not rejoin the squadron. They must return to base. Well, you see, that's, these guys are doomed anyway. They're going back to base once we make contact. So it's a way of getting them to do something, isn't it? Right, who would I like to have participate in this? Has anybody got, like, a bomber kill that... We've got red two and three... Uh, yeah, red two and three. So one of them's a green pilot. That's Kay. He's just came in here. He's a green pilot. Probably shouldn't use him. A is Acklin, that's Martin. He's not done anything yet either. And the green pi the green leader, but it's got low ammo, is um, G, that's Grant. He has an escort kill. 
So it's kind of tempting, but he's got a low ammo. So, yeah. Right, let's, let's give Martin a wee shot. What is he number two? So red two, I'm going to pick red two. Um, right, so what's the best way to come in on it? I don't know. You just know. I don't know. Um, well, we took a play bomber rounds one after the other until the one bomber is destroyed. Well, hang on here. If we... If we... Right, round two... Round two, we're going to have to either come in from the flank and west, we're already come attacking from the tail. That right, and that. Uh, if it's bomber cycle round one, it must approach. Well, the special rules for this: we can approach from any angle without penalty. It says. If it's bomber round two, place a delay marker on it that makes nose or tail approach, but not fires that were already at those approach angles. So I could sit on his tail. And um, then I wouldn't mean I could come in. I could come in that way, but then next round I'm either going to be delayed coming in that way or that way, or I come in from the flank. But if I come in from that way, I can then stay on his tail. But <laughs> I don't know what the what results are best here. And um, this is a medium bomber, isn't it? So. Yeah, this is, uh, again, a lack of experience. Well, we have had a shot at the bombers, but most of the time we're coming in from the flank. I, I feel like... I mean... Hinkles... Well, I don't know, medium bombers... Stukas, they, 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 they probably all had guns out the back, didn't they? Um, damn. Yeah, this is where I'm... Is there anything that that sort of hints in the book that I might have read? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I maybe should be coming in in the nose, but... Hang on. I'm just going to do it on the tail. Um, I'm just wondering about everybody slapping their head there. Saying, no, no, don't do the tail, Grant. Do the nose. If, if I do the nose and then find out it's bad and the tail, when I look on the card and I look and think the tail's better, then if I go on the tail, then I'm delayed. So then I'm going to be tempted to just come in the flank. Whereas if I do the tail first and then see that the nose is better than the tail, I'll probably just come in on the flank. Yeah, it's pretty much six and a half a dozen, though, isn't it? Right, so uh, well, the bomb medium bomber deck's been shuffled, so I'll put that I'll put that in play, and because well, you're more likely getting the Stukas, aren't you? But there's three sets of medium bombers, so right, let's go with this. Right, independent bomber, we're attacking. Right, hang on, hang on, independent. So it's, it's a lone bomber. Ah, you see. If you get the dorsal gunner hat, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get that if I'm at the back, though. Eh? And then, if I go at the back, then afterwards, again, I'm going to delay and then I'm going to draw more ESCO reaction cards with a chance of an ambush. Okay, I'm sticking with this. Uh, right, <laughs> so Hurricane against the lone bomber. Um, here we go um, so it's a lone bomber we're coming in from the tail well I like that um, what was our other option was the uh, the nose well it wouldn't have been as good and you can see well that wouldn't have been as good either I mean it might just be we got a lucky card but that's two damage, and and the he's going low ammo. That is right, isn't it? Yeah, it's a medium bomber. Oh, right, I see. This is a Hinkle. Whether that's the right uh, token I've got for it or not, but that's what we rolled on. It's a Hinkle. So it's four of any to destroy it, one cockpit or two engines for the Hinkle. So 
Yeah, that would have been a nose attack. That would have been a tail attack. Yeah, because he's an independent bomber. Yeah, okay. So two, two damage. So that's good. I mean, we might even have a chance of knocking him down here. fingers again. Oh, that's a bad one. Right, so we get a wing. Um, just put that up there, actually. Make it. Since there's not an awful lot going on. And, right, that's a better wing because there's a chance of catastrophic. So we are um, Hurricane. No, it's not, it's not a bad one as well. A nine. So let's roll. Hopefully we get a nine and then we can just chalk up a victory point. There we go. Yes! 12! You see that? Yeah. Yeah, we get him then. So, yeah, he's he's down. So, let me go back in. He goes away. Now, I'm going to put a destroyed marker. Now, obviously, we've not got things in play yet. So, so I'm going to put that up there. It's a one of these is destroyed. I'm also going to give Martin the credit for that. Uh, red 2 is Akaland and he gets a bomber kill um, yeah that's a, that's a bomber yeah. ok good well that, that worked out well whether we whether we got lucky with that mint it did seem like a really good card so I dare say there was a bit of luck but whether we um, and that was we've done our approach we've done our burst yeah, uh, and sorry, he should be marked. Well, he should be marked low ammo, but he's he's got to, he's got to return to base anyway. Surviving so RAF fighters return to base, they may not rejoin the squadron. They must return to base. So there's no point in me putting a low ammo on them and um, disengage. And there was no hit checks to do or anything like that. So that that went well, and that was what was on the card: two damage and one uh, um, uh, low ammo. So he goes. Returns to base um, here, red, yeah, and he's fine. And we've got a victory point on the board. Well done, good stuff. Right, well, that's that. There's a use for using the going for the straggler, then I think when you've not made contact and you've got pilot, you've got aircraft that are lost contact. So, okay, um, that's that done. So, we're going to go back to card one again, uh, you know. I'm gonna get a lot, an awful lot done here because I'm running short of time now as well. Um, so that one's done. Let's flip over the next one, have a look then, anyway. So this is the last one. Ah, we do get the raid marker. I don't, I, like I say, I don't know if that's good or bad or whatever. Now, it's above the flak. Um, so I want to say. That doesn't mean anything then. It's only when the flak is above the the marker. Yeah. It's only when it's the other way about you've postponed applying the raid I, uh, result. Um, so, however, we've got the raid icon first. So, let's go to card 5A. Um, right. Let's, let's do that and then I'm probably going to have to call this. I don't know what time, time it is. Hang on. Yeah. I need to go and get some food sorted and then I'll go to bed. Um, so if the raid marker is not yet in play, place the raid marker in the vector marker space on the raid track. Um, okay. We can do that. On the right side up. Right, so it's in there. Uh, which is good actually that means it wasn't over it's not over the um, the channel oh yeah that was another one and I didn't notice this when um, when I was watching it back Tim picked up on the uh, it was uh, I was saying we, we needed a 12 roll but the guy had a bailout marker on him Um it was a green pilot. I don't know if it was the engine one or something like that. It was caught fire or something. And I says, right, we need a twelve. Um, but he had the, he had the bailout. So he would, if he'd rolled twelve, he would have bailed out, and then we would have had to try and channel recovery him. And that's another twelve or 
you know, what is a one to nine killed in action. So the best result there is actually going, getting a wounded result and going to the hospital. And I think that's what we got. And uh, he's left a comment in there saying you didn't want it. you didn't want a twelve. And I did. A, I was watching back thinking I don't think I wanted a twelve there. That's that's correct. <laughs> uh, okay, so we we'll place the red marker. A visible is clear road. Die to place escort station markers. Okay, right. Uh, indicating the situation manual. Right. So that's just placing place our escort station markers now. Um, no, I don't think we place the bombers yet. So let me just move these a minute. Situation manual. Right. So we're rolling on this uh, to see what we get. The higher the better. And in fact, I mean, a 12 is super duper, but although we've only got two sections left, but it's probably nice. 12 is no escort at all. Right. Oh dear. Right, that, well, that's going to be the opposite, isn't it? <laughs> Almost. Um, so two, it's going to be high and low. Uh, well, high, heavy 109s and high. Uh, so high and low is, yeah, but the, the, high station, the high station's a worse one, isn't it? So we've got heavy 109s, high. Oh, and they're in the sun. How about that? Did we not, hang on though, did we not change the sun at some point in this? Maybe we don't. Uh, and then low for a 110, it's not heavy. So the low station gets a 110 marker. There we go. Right, and then, yeah, don't, don't even deal with the bombers just yet. But that's bad enough. So, um... Yeah, and that's if visibility was queer, which... Oh! Visibility's not queer, Grant. He's... Uh, damn it. I'm just thinking the sun was out. It's not. It's he's. The sun is out. But it's not queer. It's he's. If visibility is not clear, place the red marker and go back to car one. Defer rolling a die for escort station markers until contact happens. Ah, that's going to feel rough now because that was a pretty bad roll for me and now I'm getting to rewind it, I'm not. But I don't think I can keep it there because it's going to help me decide where I might want to come in from. <laughs> Sounds like I'm making excuses to get rid of this situation. Eh? I don't know what I should do there, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I should just leave it, because it, it is a bad result for me. Well, and you know, let's, let's just say I do roll that miraculous 12 when I'm meant to actually roll the dice. I wasn't meant to roll it there, though. Yeah, I'm taking it down then. I'm taking them down. Ooh. <laughs> well, I wasn't meant to roll them. And I could say, well, I'll keep the die roll, but then I know they're going to be here, and the whole point of the weather being not clear is so that I don't know. And I know, and I know you're saying, yeah, you don't know, but you don't really want that. <laughs> you want a better result, but... Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to rewind that die roll, I think. Because if visible is clear, if visible is not clear, place the red marker and go back to car one. The fair rolling a die for escort station markers until contact happens. Yeah, so we're going back to card one. Uh, uh, it's only when bombers when it moves again that the bomber the, the sun moves and all that. So we go back to card one, which is uh, reveal again, and then we've got 6A for the flak. Flak number is just a 1. Uh, however, we're in the high 
this is when we can contact, isn't it? The tally hole thing. If the rain marker is on the rain track and the squadron is at high altitude, you may spend one fuel to immediately perform contact. Yeah. Um, what I'm a bit concerned here, I'm running short of time, so I think I'm going to have to cut this. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal, uh, have card 6A shown, so I'm going to just leave it similar to what I did uh, last night and put the, that marker on the flak. We've done the raid and now we're going to have to do the flak. That's where we're at. We're revealing the, the flag. Well, well, yeah, we're doing the flag number. So I've not done anything in that event yet. And then I'll just uh, come back to that later. Um, yeah, I've, I'm feeling a bit iffy about that die roll, but. Right, okay. Uh, I better get away for now and uh, I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully. Cheers.